Welcome back. I'm continuing with my little experimenting with these 3D resin flowers uh, because it's kind of one step forward, two steps back for me anyway. <laughs> like I do a good one and then the next one doesn't work. Now, I want to just do white again today with the gold center. Um, I don't know if you can, I'll put it over there next to the orange so you can see through. This one was pretty good, not many blobbies. This one had a few more blobbies. I have no idea why, like I poured them at the same time. The only thing I'm thinking was I went around and did the petals on this one first and then I moved to the other coaster and I did that one. I'm just thinking if maybe I've pushed a little bit harder with my piping bag and got more out. See, it's gone a bit blobby. So anyway, I'm gonna go again with just the white and see if I can improve on these guys. Love the sound they make. <laughs> um, so using the Barnes Clarity, um, you don't get very many bubbles at all with this. So when you're doing something like this where you want clear edges, um, it is good to have a resin that stays nice and clear. Now the other the thing I'm changing up with this one, I had glitter in the middle. So it just makes a big blob, which I don't particularly like. So this time I'm going to use some gold flakes in my center, a little bit of gold leaf. And uh, see how that goes. It's just a more sort of organic look, I think, a little bit more natural looking. Don't think I need too much. You just have to make sure when you're getting your leaves that they're open because they, they come kind of stuck together. Mm like that there's a whole heap stuck together there we'll just pick some that are already separated all right that should do we don't need a lot do we just for the center now the resin has been sitting here and i've got it in this wide open sort of you know wider mouthed container just so that it doesn't set up too quickly it is warm but um, it just does that but if you leave it in a like a small narrow container which is more deep it'll go off really quick um, it'll start smoking which is very bad for your health <laughs> and it goes rock hard very quickly so decant it maybe into smaller containers or into a wide mouthed container so it's a little bit more shallow not so deep I'm just breaking all of that up there we go so I'm only doing white um, so I've got my cast and craft, I've got my white ink, and I'm also going to add a little bit of white mica powder this time, just to see what it does. So because I'm only doing one colour, I'm going to do 40 grams of resin, instead of my usual two colours that I do 20 of each. So 40 grams of resin, 30, 32, 33. 38. If you've got one of these digital scales, you can just pop your scale onto grams if you want to follow what I'm doing exactly. If we change that to ounces, it's 1.4 ounce, but I work in grams, so there we go. Right, I'll just leave that there for a minute, move my scale. So what we've got left in here now can go into these two. I did make up a little bit more resin. I'm also trying to see if having maybe a thicker um, amount of resin, like a deeper coaster, will help with the 3D effect. I'm just standing back and having a look and see what they make, make sure they're both kind of even. I could measure them, couldn't I mean, I could weigh them, I guess. But close enough. Now I want to start piping my petals at about 45 minutes. The other day when I waited and it was about 50 minutes before I started piping, um, it did set up and go hard. Although, I must say, I had my colour in a much, in a deeper container. I just want to weigh these. <laughs> Try not to spill anything. 113. Try not to overflow anything. 135. Okay. Um, so you can have like 
at least 10 out of you and share with your next door neighbor. Let's just take a bit over. I'm not gonna weigh it, I'm just gonna take some over and then scrape the leftovers of that as well into there. Hopefully that's about right. Now I'm just gonna clean my container quickly with some paper towel before it all sets up in there. And my stick as well, wipe that with some paper towel so that it's ready to go tomorrow. That's all I do is just wipe it out with the paper towel, throw that out, get another one, wipe it out. Oops, try not to get too much resin on my gloves. But yeah, that's all I do. A lot of people say to me, what do you do with your containers? So you get most of it out. doesn't matter if there's a little bit in there. It's just going to dry hard. So there we go. It's not a try hard. It's a dry hard. Now I've got resin all over my fingers or my gloves. I'm just going to get um, a baby wipe and some isopropyl. I'm going to spray the isopropyl onto my baby wipe. And that's how I get the resin off my gloves before I start. There we go. Okay. Set like a jelly. Now let's torch this. See, I didn't want to pick this up with resin all over my gloves, so that's what I do. Let a torch. Now be really careful with these cheap white molds. Um, they stick really easily. Okay, now I've got to be careful I don't um, let this go off. Right, so 40 grams of resin in there. One, two, three, four drops of Cast and Craft. One drop per 10 grams. And half the amount of alcohol ink, so two drops. So 40 grams of resin, four drops of Cast and Craft two drops of ink to give us a little bit of a wispy look and I'm going to add some of this Lorez white satin mica just to see what happens I'm just gonna oh, I don't know how much to use I've never done this before let's just do a just a little bit like like that on the end give that a stir getting hot. My resin's getting hot. Um, I'm going to pour some of that into another cup. I'm just worried about it setting up. I should have done two cups. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to have to get another um, one of these for that one. Oops, there's still a little bit of a mica in there. Hopefully I've caught it early enough and it's not going to set up. Yesterday I did five flowers. Kind of one worked. <laughs> um, and I had the white piping mixture in my bag and I couldn't pipe it out. It went rock hard. <laughs> oh. You're not seeing that video. But yeah, some work, some don't. I'm, you know, I'm still practicing, still new at this. Right, I'm going to do this one first because um, it's going hot. So you can just sit there for a minute. Don't go too hot. Oh, what's the time? Um, so, 30 minutes, 35, 40. It's been 40 minutes now. Let's put some gold in the center. I'm 
Yeah, been 40 minutes since I stopped stirring my resin, I should say. I mixed it up, stirred it for five minutes, and then uh, looked at the clock and said, okay, I'm gonna start videoing in 30 minutes. And I wanna start piping flowers at sort of 45 minutes. But this one was going hot, so it's gonna be a little bit earlier. That's probably 40, and the one that's in here can do 45 because um, it hasn't gone hot yet. Probably a bit much. Oops, there's a big, big chunk in there. You've got to make sure that you've mixed it really well. Break it up a little bit. Okay, so kind of a circular kind of a pattern. I really like the, the gold leaf in these. I can't believe I haven't done them before. Radio. Now, I want to do about a three millimeter gap. When you buy these, uh, the tip, the, like the resin doesn't actually go down into the tip. I'm just cutting there where the resin stops flowing. Let's see how that's going to go. I think that's all right. It's about, you probably can't see. It's about a three millimeter opening. Okay, here we go. And I'm trying not to squeeze the bag too much. You can just sit there because you're not getting too hot this 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 is the other half of the white it's still okay it's just this first one that was really hot so we'll use this one first because it's obviously setting quicker and around we go I'm trying not to like push too hard to make the petals too thick but I do need to have some pressure on it, otherwise nothing will come out. I'm always lopsided. I've always got more room on one side than the other. Like this. For some reason, I've always got more room over here. <laughs> okay. Um, I've probably actually got enough to go again. We didn't need that. What are we going to do with that? All right, let's go again with this one. I probably won't have enough actually to get all the way around, maybe. These little ones here are not quite as thick because I wasn't squeezing very hard. Just trying to make my petals all about the same size. Whoops. Hit the side of the mold. All right, that's done. Um, I need another bag. Okay, so that's kind of telling me I don't need 40 grams, do I? I need 30. 30 will be sufficient. I'm just going to cut that, cut the top off, make like a triangle. Ooh. Nearly dropped it. This is going to be any different. You're thickening up too. Okay. And getting warm. All right, hope it works. <clears throat> so I guess I should have decanted my resin, not left 40 grams in the one little cup. It, it's just, it's too much. It's too deep to be in that little cup. Mm. 
Okay, now I better get a wriggle on and blow, heat it with my heat gun. Bit of heat, push from the outside in. Whoa, that, that was a bit close. Try to heat it up a bit, get it to bloom. Hopefully, I haven't left it too long with it getting so hot. It's hard to know. Every time I do it, it's different. Okay, let's have a look. moving that away from the edge of the coaster looks as if it's kind of getting stuck there let's move it away there we go because it likes to pull in from the outside and if there's a little bit of white stuck on the edge it doesn't work as well all right now we just wait mm, I don't know I don't know why are your dogs barking is he got the door open because I'm using resin you know just for a little bit of ventilation so sometimes you can hear my doggies my little dog logs <coughs> Izzy don't bark please now this one seems to be doing better although it has been sitting longer than that one are you going to work All right, let me get my gloves off I'll just take one off. I'll take you down for a close-up. So this is the... This, this was the first one I did. I don't know why they're barking. That was the first one. And then the second one, that resin had, the white resin, had kind of had an extra few minutes, I guess, to kind of sit around and contemplate life. So I don't know if it's working as well. Can we see any blobs falling through? Any blobbies? Any blobbies? All right. Um, I'm going to come back in half an hour. Let's see what these dogs are doing. Come back in half an hour. We'll see what's happening. This is the first one that I piped. Um, I, I can see some blobs falling through to the background. The second one where I waited longer is much worse. My piping didn't spread out or bloom very much. Um, there's a lot of areas where the pigment paste has fallen through the back. So from this experiment, you can see where it's fallen through from this experiment, waiting too long. Uh, for the resin to, to thicken doesn't work. I've obviously waited too long uh, and it hasn't bloomed. It's just basically, instead of blooming and spreading across the top, it's just stayed in its line and kind of dropped to the back. That's what I'm assuming has happened. So I'm, um, I'm going again. I've got my next lot of stuff ready to go. There's my resin. Um, I'm not going to wait as long for this next one. And I'm going to make the hole in my piping bag a little bit smaller. Instead of three millimeters, I'm going to go two millimeters and see if that helps. So stay tuned for the next video and we'll see if that helps. Hey guys. Now these are the two 
that I think I left this one too long and you can see how the resin's all fallen through and gone blobby so I don't think it, well I know I'm not gonna like that one this one looks really quite nice so let's well let's do the bad one first hey get it over and done with because I don't think I'm gonna like it at all few little bubbles on along the edges there oops along the edges there um, but if you paint your edges like in gold it's you probably won't even notice it I've got a little bit of a area there that I need to just sand but this one's gonna go straight in the trash bin <laughs> right let's have a look at the back yeah look at it it's so blobby and like I <laughs> The petals, I don't even see any saving grace from the petals there, so we'll just frisbee him straight into the trash. There we go. Gone. Gone skis. All right, let's have a look at this one. My piece of black paper there and <laughs> sliding off the table. Now, this one's looking much more promising. And you can see it's got this ever so slight little shimmer. From the mica powder that I used. I really like that. I'm going to use it again. I need to unmold this because I want to use these again. I want to do a black and white one. I'm going to try a black pigment paste and see how that goes. So that's my next little try. Okay, let's have a look. I do like these, these petals. They're not wispy at all, are they? They're a nice sort of opaque colour. Which is lovely. I wonder if the mica powder's got anything to do with that. Ink under my nails. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at the back. And we're pretty good for bubbles there. Pretty good. Alright, let's have a look. One, two, three. Oh, it's really nice. Wow. Yeah, it's really nice. Totally different look again, isn't it? Like the petals are, they're kind of thicker. I wish I knew how, to, how I did that. I have to look back on my video. It's, it's a much different look. It kind of looks like um, melted wax. You know when it wax falls down from a candle and it gets that kind of a, a thick look to it? That's what it looks like, melted wax. Mm. I love that. Yay! I got one right. It's one step forward, two steps back with this technique, but I'm still learning. But wow, I love that. Ignore that red ink on my finger. Love it. All right, I'll take it outside and uh, show you what it looks like in the sun. I think I'll paint the edges on this one gold just to match that little gold center. Love it. All right, stay tuned. See you soon.